Well, that was Rutherford's trouble. I could always get into some darn thing. As it was, I was repairing radios, as I said, up to that time. And the day I was supposed to go on this Friday, eventful Friday, to take off, I had my little briefcase with my tools in it, my soldering iron as a principal thing for a radio repairman, and my pliers and so forth. One poor voltmeter, but we didn't have much to needed for anything great in those days. And uh, so I took that along with me. I didn't want to throw it overboard. My brother didn't show up in time to get it. So I had to have that. Well, when we were out to sea the second day, the mate, second mate, was checking the main gyro with the repeaters up top on the deck. And he, and I said a very stupid thing to him. I said, why don't you use a telephone? I said, you're getting all mixed up in your code. They were trying to, they weren't good at code and they were trying to break out a code so that they'd know whether it was leading or lagging and all that. I said, they said, well, the telephones won't work. And I said, what do you mean a telephone won't work? I said, those are Magnavox, anti-noise telephones. They were put in here in World War I. These were all Liberty ships. And I said, there's nothing really anything to wear out in them. I said, if they get bad, all you do is take and loosen up the little carbon button in there that has a carbon granules in it. You loosen it up, make it turn it 180 degrees, tighten it back up and it'll work fine for another six months. And he said, what are you talking about? He said, we've had all sort of experts on this. Nobody, I said, that's, I can build these things. I've taken these all apart. I have about 15 of them at home because my brother used to get these surplus ones. I mean, when they, and uh, we had 17 telephones in our house just to have telephones. You could only use one telephone at a time, but that didn't make any difference. Uh, and so I knew these things in and out. I mean, I'd played with them for several years. And microphones, as I say, was always interesting to me. So I went ahead and fixed them up for them. Well, then the first thing you know, I was up on the bridge or down and where the master gyroscope was, or back in the stern, checking it back there. Got all his telephones working. Well, that was good. I didn't have to, it was either that or polished brass because they had these cadets and we had to do something. And people don't know why they use brass on ships. It's not because brass will last but brass will polish. <laughs>